Hi everyone. As you can see, I made my century turret seem like the opera turret. Uh, I haven't played the game Portal 2 yet, only Portal 1 before. But some of you leave comment that the chunky shape of the turret I made just like the opera turret in Portal 2, and also mentioned some interesting things to be implemented such as the turret can sing and wave its hatches while idle. It shouldn't be hard in my first thought. I just need to make sure that there is still enough space in the fresh memory of the turret's microcontroller for the Karami audio soundtrack. Implement a subroutine to open close the hatch periodically to match the tempo of the song. And I decide to trigger this subroutine when wireless connection tie up. And I got this. <laughs> Okay, let's hold the loud noise from the step motors. Now I have to tear down the housing of the turret to configure the micro stepping options of the A4980A step motor drivers. Most tutorials about this step motor driver mention the function of its MS1 to MS3 pins. By changing the pull up or pull down combination of these pins, we can obtain different resolutions of the motor angular rotation. Here is the configuration of the micro stepping option I gave in chapter 6 of my terror building tutorial. I set half step for both pin control motor and hatch control motor, and set quarter step for the tire control motor. But now I set all of this to 8th step. I made this change now for higher angular resolution of, of motor rotation. What I want is making motors rotate more smoothly, because larger step size plus lower step frequency produce louder noise during motor rotation. <laughs> Check the previous video again. The noise is especially loud when the hatches are closing because I lower the motor frequency to slow down the hatches closing to match the tempo of the song. Compare with the normal hatches closing with the same motor step size but without lowering the motor step frequency, you will not particularly notice such noise. Since I must lower the step frequency to slow down the hatch's closing, so I decrease the step size to balance the noise. But when the step size decreases, I have to send more steps to the driver in the same amount of time to keep the motor rotating the same angle, which means increase the step frequency. The outcome is that I increase the step frequency back to the same as before, and it also reduces the noise. Besides the hatch control motor, I also want to lower the step size of the pan and tile control motors to reduce all noise from the step motors. But I must increase the step frequency for all other cases to keep the rotation angle and speed. I quotable the global interrupt frequency in the code to generate higher frequency step signals to the step motor drivers for these cases, and it increased the overhead of the terrace microcontroller. Fortunately, it didn't impact other terrace subroutines as I concerned. <laughs>
I have committed the code to the project's GitHub page. Besides plugging additional short circuit caps to the CNCB3 shear board to configure the motor's step size, you also need to run manual config to apply new default counts of the motor's recess steps in the application configuration page due to the reduction of the step size. I will update this change to the corresponding chapters of the tutorial. Thanks for your watching. Bye bye.